We've talked about the founding family script and how women everywhere are signing up their first or their next seven students. But you might be thinking, but will it work for me? Well, let me ask you this question. Why wouldn't it work for you? Join us in this episode because I'm here to debunk a myth that you think you're a special unicorn and the founding family script won't work for you. Let me show you why you're wrong. back to the Preschool All-Stars podcast. I'm your host, Joy Anderson, and today we're going to show you how the founding family script absolutely works. And we're also going to debunk a myth that you might be thinking about, that you are a special unicorn and the founding family script won't work for you. Well, I'm here to tell you I have helped hundreds of women through this founding family script, and I've seen all the success stories. Okay, so guess what? You're not that special. Yes, you are a special woman, but you're not unique in the sense that it's not going to work for you. Sometimes we get thinking that we're a unicorn. Nobody can do it like me. Nobody has my certain situation. I am like the one person this is not going to work for. (laughs) No, my friend, that's incorrect. Okay. So I'm here to say that every single woman who goes through the founding family script, they absolutely can find success, whether that is success through overcoming mental roadblocks, and finally putting themselves out there. Do you know how big of a deal that is for women? That's huge. You're 100% going to have that outcome. I also can promise you that you have the best chances to sign up anywhere from one to seven plus, remember we had Melinda sign up 16 students in just two days, Uh, but sign up those students within seven days. I give you the entire framework, the entire strategies. This training has been tested and proven hundreds of times over and it's gonna work for you. So let me debunk a couple myths though that still might be in your head. The first one is, but Joy, I don't have a degree. You don't need a degree. That's right. When I started my preschool, did I have a degree? I did not have a teaching degree or an early childhood education degree or a child development degree or a CDA or a business degree. I didn't have any of that, okay? You don't need a degree. You also don't need to be licensed. That's right. I can teach you how to start a preschool, either online or local, without a license. And yes, if you want to get licensed later as a local preschool, sure, I'll help you do that too, because I know all the steps to do it. Okay, but with online, there's a 100% chance you don't need a license because there is no such thing. And with local, I'll teach you how to do it without a license. So that's not applicable, right? Don't need a license. You don't need a degree. But Joy, I don't have any experience. Guess what? I didn't either. I didn't teach in the preschool classroom before this, okay? I had never had a daycare. I was not an elementary school teacher. I didn't go to school for teaching. You don't have to have any experience either. That's the beauty of everything I teach you. I know that if you come from nothing and you have literally a zero foundation, I will build that foundation up for you so that you, when you are ready to teach, You know everything. You're ready to go. You've got the learning. You've got the experience. You're ready to rock it, okay? That's what we do for you inside Preschool All-Stars. But we're going back to our seven-day challenge and this founding family script. Another thing that I hear people say is, but Joy, I'm not techie. (laughs) Okay, well, guess what? I wasn't either. Oh my gosh. And I started my preschool back in 2008, right? A lot has changed since then. And I know what our preschool owners need. I know the things that you're going to need. But guess what? To do your founding family script, you don't need any of that. You don't need a website, right? Awesome. You don't even need a Facebook page or a Facebook group or an Instagram account. You don't even need an email. Of course, I'm sure you have one. I'm just saying you don't need one. (laughs) You don't need Facebook ads. You don't need anything tech related to do the founding family script. And obviously for later, sure, you'll want a website, but we give you all that inside of Preschool in a Box. And if you're thinking, but Joy, I don't have the time. I'm so busy. I've got kids. I've even maybe got a part-time job or a full-time job. I'm working like crazy. Obviously, this is why I want to get out of that job so I could stay home with my kids. Guess what? Your founding family script is super fast to post. You don't need a lot of time. In fact, it'll probably take you about 30 minutes from start to finish, from the time you look at the script to the time you're actually posting it. Isn't that crazy? And if you're gonna truly tell me that you don't have time to get something like $50, $100, $500 in the next two days, 
Well, then maybe we have other issues, okay? But if you have 30 minutes, right? And you want the money on the other side, which is your preschool registration fees. And of course, later on, your monthly recurring tuition fees. Well, yeah, I bet you're going to invest 30 minutes of your time to do this thing. So stop saying, I don't have time and start saying, hmm, what do I need to stop doing? Maybe I need to stop binge watching the shows, or maybe I need to not watch my, you know, nightly show that I watch tonight. Or maybe I need to, instead of take a nap, you know, wake up 30 minutes early and do this post, okay? That's what you need to do. You have the time, you just need to allot the time into your schedule. If you're saying, I don't have any money, Joy, well, guess what? You don't need any money. <laughs> That's right. When you post your founding family script, there's no money needed. There's no money needed for ads, nothing. Seriously, you just have to post it. That's it, okay? It's free, so don't say that you don't have any money. And of course, if you want to actually start your preschool afterward with some success, then you're gonna wanna jump into Preschool All-Stars, grab our preschool in a box, but guess what? The money that you make from your founding family script can help pay for those things. I'm all about putting money back into your bank account so that you can actually afford our programs, okay? We've made everything as absolutely affordable as possible for you because I was in your shoes once too. I was the single mom with three kids who needed to pay that mortgage in 30 days. So I absolutely know where you're coming from. And I wanna make sure you can still get into our programs. That's why I give you these things for free. The Founding Family Script, the seven day challenge, everything propels you forward with momentum and money in your bank account, right? And then through our programs, we're able to give you the done for you files, the tools, the immediate training, the strategy, the support, the mentorship, all of that so you can get your preschool started quickly and easily without wasting time or money. Your time is valuable. And that's why we wanna make sure that every moment you spend starting your preschool and creating that successful preschool is spent wisely. You don't wanna waste any time or any money. But Joy, I don't have a location. You don't need a location, my friends, okay? Seriously, if you have a home, which I assume you do, you might even have an apartment, you can use a wall just like this one behind me, something kind of fun, put some posters and pictures on the wall for your online preschool. And if you wanna start a local preschool, all you need is a kitchen table and a living room. I think you have that, right? Even if you're in an apartment, that's right. So I will show you how to start even without a location. You can immediately get started. In fact, I actually recommend it. I don't recommend that you go get your big building and your one-year lease or your five-year lease or your you know very expensive, hefty mortgage on a building. I'll show you how to do those things, but those things take time, okay? We wanna do things smartly. And so I show you how to do that. And last, if you say, but Joy, I don't know anyone who would want preschool. None of my friends have preschool age kids. Okay, cool, guess what? I didn't either. I moved to a completely different city. I had no friends. <laughs> and most of our people don't know people with preschool age kids either. That's okay, you have to go outside of your sphere of influence. We're not like an MLM company like, hey, give a call to all your friends and family, see if they wanna sign up and want some product in their house. No friends, we, Step outside, we give you the strategies and the founding family script reaches outside of your own network. So that's where the beauty comes in. You're not trying to get people that you know into your preschool, you're trying to get it outside of your circle of influence. So having said all that, here's what I want to do for you. Obviously, our seven-day challenge is going on right now where you're going to learn how to sign up your first or your next seven preschoolers in just seven days. I want to make sure that you're in it. Go to preschoolchallenge.com to jump right in. It is a free challenge, and it's literally going on right now as we speak. You do not want to miss it. My team, myself, Every one of our preschool all-stars is inside of our free Facebook group right now, going through this challenge, preparing to post our founding family script. And I can't wait to see you in there as well. So make sure you go to preschoolchallenge.com and register. Now, before we go, I wanna share with you my screen. I'm gonna show over 70 testimonials. Yes, they're little screenshots of women who went through the seven day challenge and we're gonna find out what their results are when they posted their founding family script. I always ask people, make sure you write a post as soon as you get your first sign up, right? So even some of these that say, I got my first sign up, guess what? That was just their first. 
many of them have gone on to get their five, their 10, their 30 preschoolers signed up. I'm thinking of Miranda Rodriguez, who started her preschool very small with the founding family script, had never had a preschool before. And then all of a sudden, after just about five to seven preschoolers in that founding family script, she launched her preschool even bigger and now has 35 students in her preschool. Nice job, Miranda. So let's jump over to my screen. I'm gonna share with you all the testimonials because again, you're not a special unicorn. I love you, I truly do. You are special, but you're not a unicorn, okay? And I wanna show you how the Founding Family Script works for everyone else and it will work for you. Now I'm gonna share with you our amazing testimonials that have come out of the seven day challenge with our Founding Family Script. You're gonna be blown away by these, these are fun. Now, I've got about 70 here to share with you, but I have hundreds more that you can see inside of our free Facebook group and so many videos to go along with them as well. So I hope you enjoy, let's jump in. Now, as soon as we post our founding family script, we're usually pretty nervous, right? In fact, our good friend Carrie said that she was super nervous. She says, I'm so scared about today. My Facebook has my coworkers, family members, and just others, I'm terrified, I'm gonna do it just terrified. <laughs> so here's what I want to show with you next. Then she posted, I posted my founding family script and no matter what the results are, I'm proud of myself because this week I've been so nervous about trying this, mainly because I've tried other business ventures only to fail. But I do see the difference here. I love that this is right where my heart is, teaching kids and opening minds. And get this, in just four hours, she posted, I got my first kiddo enrolled. Woohoo, nice job, Carrie. And then we also have LaShonda who says, I posted my founding family script and no matter what the results are, I'm proud of myself because this week I faced the giant, self-doubt and failure. Yet I know what God has for me is for me and I did it. Then we have over here with Sierra Tyler. She posted and said, I wanted to wait until I completed my first week before posting and week one is in the books, but she says it went well the first week. I have five paid students. That's awesome. Congratulations, Sierra. And here we have Ajane. She says, before I could even get to the comments to tag anyone, the phone calls, texts, and shares just started coming in nonstop. Before the night was over, I had 11 people fill out the registration form. Nice job, Ajane. Natalie says, I posted my script yesterday and I have five out of seven spots filled. Way to go. Then we have Ashley. She says, three hours ago, I posted my founding family's post along with a few pictures. In my state, I can only have three kids in one class until I'm licensed. I didn't think that I would need to because where we lived, I wouldn't have the interest. But oh my gosh, I only have two spots left for the week. Every morning and evening class is filled and some families are on the wait list. This is three hours into her posting her founding family script. Way to go, Ashley. Stephanie says, I got one family signed up and I have three tours next week. And Shiva says, y'all, I just got my first payment. What the heck? <laughs> And then we have Denise. She says, I got three signups in less than an hour and two potential signups. Naomi says, I posted my founding family script and in less than 24 hours, a local businesswoman reached out to me and wanted to support my business by helping me secure a location for a local preschool. How cool is that? Amy says, today I launched my online preschool with five preschoolers. I have more coming. When I posted the founding family script, it got such a great response and was shared at least 37 times. I've been contacted by people near and far who are interested in signing up. Kiwana says, I got my first founding family payment and student for online preschool. Lekatree says, oh my gosh, I posted my founding family script. I have so many inquiries, I can't respond fast enough. And then we have Reva. She says, no matter what the results are, I'm proud of myself because this week I faced my fears, my doubts, and all the what ifs imaginable. And I did it anyway. She says she's had two inboxes already from interested parents within her first hour of posting. Then we also have Amanda who says, I'm proud of myself because this week I worked so hard. As I'm tearfully typing this post, I am so proud of me. I've stepped outside of my comfort zone. I did it. And I personally know Amanda and she is rocking her online preschool right now. We have Crystal who says, I'm proud of myself because I stepped completely out of my comfort zone. I'm still shaking as I type this. 
See, that's my friends, what is so beautiful about this is because it's not just about the signups, it's about overcoming your fear, getting people behind you to cheerlead you, to rally you in this next upcoming adventure. Nicole says, 48 minutes later, I have my first signup as well as two inquiries. Oh my gosh, she says. And then we also have Sherelle. She says, I just enrolled another student and another parent inquired. Slowly but surely, they're joining. Laura says, hello, all stars. It's been quite an adventure these two days. I have two spots left to fill. This really is an amazing feeling. Tanya says, I filled up seven founding family spots today. She was having so many people fill up. She's trying to say, wait, how do I structure the classes? I have so many students. <laughs> we have Shanice who says, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, do everything Joy tells you to, script for script, read her everything. Joy's materials fully prepared me to nail my first official local tour today. I just enrolled my first preschool local kit. Way to go, Shanice. Then we have Laura who says, what an accomplishment. I posted my founding script. I'm so nervous right now. I don't wanna look at the messages. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she says. Eloisa says, two days ago, I created my page to publish my bilingual preschool. My friend shared it 10 times and I got already eight students. Nice job. Jessica says, update, all of my founding family spots have been filled. Thank you so much for your support. And now due to high demand, I'm now enrolling two-year-olds into her preschool as well. Nice. We've got Kendra who says, ah, so I decided today had to be an eat the frog kind of day. I just posted my founding family script. I feel like I'm going to cry or vomit or something, <laughs> but I did it. It took me four months to get the courage to do it, but for better or for worse, it is done. Okay, do you see what is going on here? Having the courage, the motivation, overcoming your fears, right? That's what this is all about as well. And you know, if you get signups, man, icing on the cake. Now, this is what I love. Kendra then came on to post. You guys, it's only been two hours since I posted. I've already received three messages from interested parents. <laughs> nice. Tanya says, I have five families who signed up for the founding family special. Cordelia says, I have five preschoolers registered and my first Zoom class is on Thursday. Melinda says, I have a lot of families who have multiple kids enrolled in my school. Like I have almost 20 kids and only 12 families. Do you give a family discount for multiple kids? She was getting so many signups. Remember, she ended up with 16 students signed up from her founding family post. We have Rebecca who says, I officially have three paid students as of today. Woohoo! We also have Miranda who says, I posted my founding family script, signing up my first seven kiddos. And you remember I told you about Miranda who now has 35 students in her online preschool. We also have Lecatrice who says, I received many inquiries and signed two paid students. Stephanie says, update, I signed up my first six students. Sierra says, I signed up my first student. We have Reva who says, I signed up my next two families at the same time. Seven left, let's go. And it's that kind of energy that I love. Veronica says, just enrolled three children. Latasha says, I have four official signups for my online preschool. Nice job, Latasha. Brenda says, I got a sign up and three signups for my open house this coming week. She says, I'm too much of a hot mess to go live. <laughs> v says, just had six students enroll in one class. And we also have Christina who says, signed my first family, so excited. Magda says, I've received four registrations since posting. Ashley says, I'm so excited. I now have six enrollments for my online academy. I started on Saturday. Tanisha says, I got my first family. Andrea says, I have three out of seven spots for my online play and learn preschool. Nice job. Danielle says, I've signed up six families, more on the way. Chandra says, I signed up two kids today. What's so amazing is they are the kids of two of my students from Europe. How fun is that? We have Ashley who says, first paid family already happened. Nice job. We have Ashley who says, I may only have one sign up right now, but I have a total of three students, including my own children. I'm beyond excited. It says, Joy Anderson, I want to thank you because had I not come across your ad for your book and then this challenge, I would not have overcome some serious fear and anxiety. Yes, girl, that's awesome. Then we have Jennifer who says, I finally have one paid student to sign up. After all, I went through and couldn't sign up early. God just let me know it's not over for me. That's right. It's not over for anyone. Porsche says, got my second sign up and sent off another inquiry. Alicia says, several inquiries and now two paid students. 
Melinda says, I have over 15 people registered since yesterday and more pending. How can I keep track of everyone? <laughs> Remember, Melinda? That's awesome. Lisa says, I already have two and I haven't even opened yet. Cherie says, I got four paid founding families at $75 a month in just one and a half days. Oh man, that's the easiest $300 you could ever make. Megan says, I got two paid founding families at $47 a month in just one day. Tatiana says, I got one paid founding family at $47 a month in just one hour. <laughs> that's $47 an hour. Nice job. And then we have Sharonda who says, I got three paid founding families through the creative use of what I call Sharonda Founding Families Fundraiser. Oh, that's so fun. Mia says, I got seven paid founding families at 47 a month in just two days. Nice job. Beth says, I got three students in four days at 97 a month. Nice. Beverly says, six days, eight students, $400. First full price student should sign up tomorrow. Oh my gosh, yes. Charity says, okay, Joy, I'm trying not to explode from excitement, but I have my first founding family on standby. <laughs> Paula says, oh my gosh, one mom said yes, and another is seriously considering it, and she has two children. Darlene says, I did it. I already have one message from a mom who's going to ask her hubby about registering their kiddo. Nice. Kathleen says, just got my first local sign up with the founding family script. And then we have Shanice who says, I officially have three children attending my class on Tuesday next week. It's real. Oh my gosh. We have Paula who says, update. I got another one this morning. Angela says, in two weeks, I went from six kids enrolled in my local preschool to 14. Nice. Valerie says, all eight founding family positions filled with school year commitment. I love that. We've got Mia who says, all seven spots filled up. Nice. Good job, everyone. So as you can see, we have so many different people who were able to find success with their founding family script inside the seven day challenge. And guess what? I can't wait to be able to read your testimonial as well. And just like that, the founding family script works. It worked for them. It's going to work for you. Jump over to preschoolchallenge.com and be sure to register. It's going on right now. We only run these challenges live two times a year, October and April. And so with you hearing this today, it's going on right now. And if by chance you're hearing this at a later time, no worries, my friend. Still go to preschoolchallenge.com and jump in. You're going to be able to get into the wait list, okay? So we're going to have a great time together. Go to preschoolchallenge.com. We're going to show you how you can sign up your first or your next seven preschoolers in just seven days. We'll see you in the challenge. Mm -hmm.